All right, people, welcome back. More card reviews. So we are still looking at the Dark Light Swarm Monsters on Monday with at the new dark version of Jane. And today we are looking at a Dark Judgment Dragon. Yes, people. So we're pretty much seeing if this can stack up to JD, work in tandem with JD, and maybe be good enough to get its own, you know, shortened anagram. Because, of course, when I say JD, you know I'm talking about Judgment Dragon. But if I say PD for this pun Punishment Dragon, do you know what I'm talking about? Let's find out. So, yes, Konami is so creative. Punishment Dragon. So first you get judged, and then you get punished. Okay, I, I see you. It's not funny. It's not cute at all. It is a monster. It, well, I don't know why I said card type monster, duh. Uh, it's a dark dragon effect monster. Level 8, 3000 attack, 2700 defense. I believe those are just judgment dragons that I except for it being dark instead of light. Okay. I'm assuming that you special summon it similar to uh, judgment dragon. And hopefully have a similar effect because we already know how powerful JD is. So uh, this card cannot be normal summon slash set. Yeah, that's fine. Must be for some special summon from your hand. While four or more of your light sworn monsters with different names are banished and cannot be special summoned by other ways. Alright, this is a little bit more difficult than JD. JD, I just mill a whole bunch. Oh, there's dip four different names in my graveyard, which is much easier to do than having banished. I'll have to like have macro cosmos or something face up and banish while milling or go the slow route of the monsters are in the graveyard and then they slowly get banished. Just yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, nah, I don't know. I don't know. And it has to be. And it also has to be different names as well. So just make sure you add on. So I guess first you special sum. First you have your last ones okay, right? Then you special summon your JD. Then you banish your light swans either through Jane, other if they do Twilight Swan monsters or do other uh, you know banishing as engines, and then special summon this. I mean. If anything, at least it's a 3,000 beater, but let's look at its individual effect. Like I'm crossing my fingers, let's hope it's as good as JD, because it's harder to summon than JD, so maybe its effect will be better. Uh, once per turn. Wow, it's already starting it off just not as great, because, of course, Judgment Dragon's not once per turn. As long as I keep paying 1,000, I will keep wiping, so. Once per turn during either player's turn, so that's a little bit different. At least it's during either player's turn. All right, what do you do during either player's turn? You can pay 1,000 life points. Okay, all right. Shuffle all cards in the graveyards. Okay, and face up banished cards into the deck except for light sworn monsters. Sorry to go silent on you there, but I don't like that. I, I, I don't like what. What's the point? Like, what is the point? Like, I pay a thousand. All cards are shuffled back into the deck, so I guess. Oh wow, I get to reset m some of my spells and traps and my b face up banished cards, but except. For light sworn monsters. So the things that you would l probably like to put back so you don't like deck out and game yourself. No, you don't put those back. And of course, it's face up banished cards. So just in case you wanted to put back your pub desire cards. Like, uh, no. So, like, what, what's the point of that? Like, I guess maybe you can interrupt your opponent's plays. Like, oh yeah, my opponent's going to do something with their game or something with their banish zone. I could just, you know, because it's during either player's turn, during their turn, just interrupt them by just putting their stuff back into the deck. Awesome. But what does that do? What does that do? I mean, JD, I'm freaking wiping the field, my boy. Like, this could have at least, like, shuffled cards on the field back into the hand or, or back into the deck. Nope, doesn't even do that. Just cards in the graveyard and face-up cards that are banished. Except for Light Swarm Monsters. So, except for the monsters that you might want to put back, you know? And, of course, uh, the last effect. Once returned, if a Light Swarm Monster you control activates its effect, Send the top four cards in your deck to the so it doesn't even mill four by itself like JD. So, and of course JD is not a light swarm monster. So if you have JD in this and JD mills four, this is, JD's not a light swarm monster. So this would be milling four unless you have a different light swarm monster in the field milling four. I mean, why? Like this card is not good at all. Like that's that, that's it. That's it. Are you waiting for me to say anything else? No, this, I'm done. That's it. Why would you play this? Why? Why would you play this over anything else? Like. If you want to run light swords, run light swords. If you want to run a little bit of twilight, a little bit of dark with your with your light, a little bit, mix a little bit of chocolate with your vanilla, you know, get interracial. Up. Okay, this is getting, <laughs> this is getting bad. Uh, you know, you want to mix it up with your deck and throw in some darks with your light swords, more power to you. But why would I go out of my way to not only have four different 
banish light swarms to special summon this guy, and all he does is just take my non light sworn my non light sworn monsters, all cards except for non light sworn monsters, my spells, my traps, anything that's not a light sworn monster, from either player's graveyard and face up banish, which I like I said, it situationally can disrupt. But that's it. That's it. I'm not wiping the field. I'm not, you know, going crazy plus on your ass. I'm probably not going to OTK your ass like Judgment Dragon. Like like I said, if this was like during either player's turn, you could shuffle all cards on the field. Back to the deck, then oh, hell yeah, we could talk. That'd be awesome, you know? But it doesn't. It's just Graveyard and Face Up Banish, except for Light Swan Monsters. But then even then, if it did the field and it did an exact same thing except on the field, then you'd shuffle back your JD because... Judgment Dragon is not a light sword monster. But the fact still remains is that this card's not good. It's not good at all. Like, the the Twilight Jane was, eh, it wasn't that great. It really wasn't. You know, like, I guess with that, because I believe Jane is at once per turn, so you could summon Jane and then just go banish, drop your attack and defense, banish, drop your attack and defense, and then just banish four different names, and then bam, special summon this. But you still got to have the light sword monsters with four different names. And then if you do that too early, that means that there's less names in the graveyard for JD, but more names banished for punishment dragon. You're not even getting the shirt. I mean, you, you know, you're just punishment dragon, you know? The only one who's getting punished for even trying to do this is me. So no, thank you. No, thank you at all. So... Yeah, awesome, awesome. You created a dark judgment dragon, and this is all you got? <sighs> Get out of here. Like, you're like, all right, judgment dragon? Like, two, that card was broken. I mean, I think at one point it was semi loaded, but then it went back up to three. But whatever, you know, judgment dragon is probably one of the most broken boss monsters. So I guess you wanted to super tone it down to the point where this other antithesis of judgment dragon is not even going to be played. So awesome. Good job, Konami. Good job. Anyway, I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. So, uh,. This is it for card review this week. Of course, I'll be back next week with some more cards to look at. Uh, and then for Fake Card Friday, uh, which will be, of course, on Friday, I'm actually looking at yet another Light Swarm card, a Fake Light Swarm card, which hey, may or may not be better than these actual r real related ones. So tell me what you guys think about Pun Punishment Dragon in the comment section below. I hope that you guys enjoyed this card review. Thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, like the video, and uh, hit that bell for notifications. I will be back next week with some more cards to look at. I don't know what I'm looking at right now, but you will find out. All right, people. Thanks for watching.